Hello students, let's look at the estimation of iron in TMT bar by diphenyl amine indicator method. So initially, let's see what is TMT. TMT is thermomechanically treated bars. Heat treated and mechanically strengthened steel bars. What is the significance of TMT bars? It ensures quality control of TMT bars, determines iron content for safe construction, links lab experiments to real world applications, and helps to understand the redox chemistry in practical situations. So how do we prepare the TMT bar solution? The TMT bar solution is prepared by dissolving the sample in concentrated 1 is to 1 ratio of HCl with gentle heating until the metal completely dissolves. After which the solution will be filtered to remove insoluble residues. In the presence of HCl, iron from the bar dissolves to form ferric chloride. Note that the oxidation state of iron in FeCl3 is plus since iron is in FeCl3, it is already in its highest possible oxidation state, so we have to first reduce it to peristate and then titrate it with potassium dichromate solution which is an oxidizing agent. Ferric chloride is reduced by stannous chloride, the reducing agent, in the presence of hydrochloric acid to ferrous chloride. The reaction is given as below. A slight excess of stannous chloride is added to ensure complete reduction of FeCl3 to FeCl2. The excess of stannous chloride is at, which is added is destroyed by adding a solution of mercury chloride. This is the reaction and uh, you will be seeing a silky white precipitate when you do this particular step. A black precipitate of finely divided mercury may be formed if it is too much of stannous chloride is present or if mercury chloride solution is added very slowly. Uh, we don't want this step to occur in our reaction. The solution must be discarded henceforth if you see a black precipitate is produced and the finely divided mercury reduces the potassium dichromate and slowly reduces the peric ions formed to peric ions. Also, you should discard the solution if you see no precipitate on the addition of mercury chloride because the complete reduction of peric ions to peric ions is not ensured. This uh, reaction is an oxidation reduction reaction. The reactions are given as below. The indicator used for the reduction of endpoint is an oxidation reduction indicator diphenylamine. The action of diphenylamine as an indicator depends on the oxidation first into colorless diphenyl density which is real indicator and is reversibly further oxidized to diphenyl density violet. So when ferrous ions are exhausted in the solution at the end point, addition of further quantity of dichromate oxidizes the colorless diphenyl benzidine to violet colored diphenyl benzidine violet. Therefore, the end point is indicated by a color change that is going from green to violet. So what is the significance of adding sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid? Sulfuric acid maintains the required acid medium while phosphoric acid complexes with the Fe3 plus ions which enhances the selectivity and sensitivity. The stabilization makes the diphenyl indicators color change sharper and more reliable during iron estimation in TMT samples. Let's look at the procedure. Initially, we have the preparation of potassium dichromate solution. So accurately weighed potassium dichromate is dissolved in 250 ml standard flask, dissolve it in a little distilled water and then shaken well and made it up to the mark and filled to a 50 ml burette. In the burette, you have the standard potassium dichromate solution. For the 20 ml flask, you have to prepare out 25 ml of TMT solution, add one foot test tube of concentrated HCl to it and boil. To the hot solution, add uh, drops of stannous chloride till the yellow color is completely discharged followed by one or two drops of excess of stannous chloride. The solution is cool and half test tube of mercury chloride is added. A silky white precipitate should form. If you see a black or no precipitate, the solution must be discarded. Half a test tube of acid mixture and 5 to 6 drops of diphenylamine indicator is added. The solution is titrated against potassium dichromate until a bluish violet color persists. 
the titration is repeated to get concordant values and from the volume of potassium dichromate used, the amount of iron present in the TMT solution is calculated. For the observation and calculation, initially we have the mass of potassium dichromate dissolved for 250 ml, gram equivalent weight of potassium dichromate, normality of potassium dichromate. So from the normality of TMT in the solution is given as below. The mass of TMT dissolved per liter is 5.0, gram equivalent weight of iron is 55.85, mass of iron per liter of the solution is normality of iron in TMT into gram equivalent weight. So the percentage of iron in TMT solution is equal to mass of iron per liter divided by mass of TMT per liter into 100. Thank you.